Okay, so welcome again, everybody. We've got some new faces, some faces we've seen before. Thanks for joining us this morning. And this is going to be a run through the introduction to structured notes. So please feel free to ask questions as we go along. Um, you don't have to wait until the end. If there's something that you don't understand or you need some clarity on, just shout and we'll run, we'll, we'll answer any of the questions. So just to um, put out there, Cashbox Global doesn't provide advice. This is product information, and it's based on years of experience and research that we've personally undertaken and the actual results that have been achieved. We always encourage you to do your own research and due diligence before making any decisions. So to jump right into it, when it comes to investing, there are eight questions that you should always be considering. And first of all, one of the things yourself is where to invest. There are so many options that you can invest in. Where should you invest? How safe is your capital? Is your capital protected? Um, does it stay offshore? If we're talking about offshore investments, because you've got options whether it stays offshore or comes back. Is your money safe? You know, is it another the next scam that's come along? What are the returns that you can expect to achieve? When would you expect to receive them? How much would it cost? because like you get compound interest, you get compound fees. And then can you speak to somebody? Is there somebody that can actually answer your questions when you need them answered, as opposed to just getting access to a post box? And with that, I'm gonna leave it up to you, Chad. Cool, thanks, Joe. Morning, everybody, nice to see you. Um, afternoon and evening, wherever you are. Today, we're gonna to run through how structured notes work. Um, we deliver product every three to four weeks where we often chat just about that particular product. This goes back to look under the bonnet and understand how these products work. And um, some six years ago, when I got introduced to Structured Notes um, from Andrew, our head of product, he sat down, he said, no, but Chad, it is possible to get defined income and growth returns because I was, I was looking for a way to get predictable income and protect it. It is possible to get this delivered in uh, USD, G GBP, Euro if you want, and strong returns, 10 to 14%. And what's incredible folks is you're able to generate these returns in, in rising markets as you would expect, but even in flat markets, even if the markets are going nowhere, and then incredibly, even in most declining markets. And these come from the most unlikely of places. These come from Europe's strongest banks. And these are bank underwritten and protected uh, both from an income point of view and a capital point of view directly from the bank. And this is just like institutional investors have been doing for decades. Andrew has been structuring these for his family offices and high net worth individuals for the last 20, 30 years. And i explain how this works in a minute. So as a team, our mission is to bridge the gap between retail and institutional uh, levels of investing. How do we get uh, no, great motivated them. people from, <laughs> from, from retail you, returns okay. all the way to institutional returns? <laughs> Thanks, Joel. I'm just hearing some feedback from someone and I can't see who it is. <laughs> I'm trying to unmute everybody. It might be might be Lorraine, favorite Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine. Okay, I'm going to mute my Lor 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 <laughs> Hi, Lorraine. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now folks, this is all via an investment contract. And this contract has been structured and it is issued from Europe's strongest banks, as we said. It's similar to term deposit, yet it takes advantage of key market opportunities. And in this contract, it will define and it will build in levels of protections and return. Um, and these are all underwritten directly from the bank. And they're designed to deliver a defined outcome over the investment period. The period is also defined in the contract. And this contract can be structured to deliver either quarterly income or a growth or both. And the term structured is important because this is where structured notes come from. Notes being just a different term for a contract. So you may see these called structured products in, in other circles as well. Thank you, Jill. So how is this possible? begins with the banking structure as a whole. So if we start off at the high street bank at the bottom of our pyramid, 
These are the banks that you and I used to. Um, we would go and get a debit card, a credit card, fuel card, whatever, run our normal banking through this institution. If we deposit money at this level, we're probably going to get very little, if any, in terms of returns or lock up our cash for a long period of time. We would then jump a level and go to business banking. This is where we would take uh, more focused kind of work that the bank would need to do for us. And they would specialize in creating banking structures and instruments. Again, I wouldn't get much from a return point of view at this level. It's the next level that really interests us. And this is where Andrew's expertise and where Jill has also worked at the investment bank level. Now, these guys are second only to central banks. Central banks would be involved in setting policy, procedure, et cetera, typically for a region and or a, um, a nation. Below those then live investment banks. And folks, this is where investment products are actually created. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take, and what we have been doing is taking our investor community from retail right the way to investment uh, bank level. So we're gonna take you from um, traditional low returns. And as you can see on the right-hand side of our uh, diagram, all the way up to 12, 14% returns, because what have we done? We've cut out all these layers of cost below. We've cut out all this complication. We've actually taken our community to the factory of where these products are created. So at the bottom now, the bank will package this product, they'll underwrite this product, and they'll issue these called structured notes. And these are typically for institutional and high net worth individuals. In fact, even for the banks below. So you may go to your local high street bank and ask for a structured note, you may get one, but you'll get it at a very different level of uh, coupon flow and maybe even a very different level of protection because all of those items cost. And that's the margin that the banks at the bottom of this pyramid want to keep for themselves. We say, no, let's take you to the source of, of these amazing products. So we're going to go through a video now and uh, see how this works. The difference between a dedicated investor who only gets access to retail-grade products compared to an investor who has access to institutional-grade investments is significant. This exclusion has a marked difference in both their returns and protection, especially in our world of unpredictable and declining markets. You see, solutions are available to larger investors. However, most of us just don't qualify on our own. Solutions exist for predictable returns, protection, and steady income by putting your cash deposits to work. Outside of these solutions, most of us are caught boxed into doing nothing with our cash or being directly exposed and vulnerable to high-risk, high-cost opportunities. And it is for this reason that Cashbox Global exists. To open up a world of opportunity for every investor by making our institutional products accessible, trusted, transparent, and highly effective. Because at Cashbox Global, we believe that every savvy investor deserves the ability to invest in the inner circle of protection and defined returns, to invest at institutional, not retail levels. So let's unpack the concept. Utilizing technology and our strong relationship with the world's largest banks, we structured these strong, predictable contracts with returns ranging from 10 to 14% per annum. The bank deals securely and confidentially with each investor's platform for their accounts, funds flow, and reporting, as they would for large investors. These solutions, known as structured notes, are contractually agreed upon and come directly from the world's largest and most trusted investment banks to you. No middlemen, no hidden costs. Your full investment is placed in income or growth notes a steady delivery averaging over 3% per quarter available in USD, pound sterling, and euro on request. You may ask, how is this possible? As you know, banks make money by charging you for the money you loan for your car, home, holidays, business, etc. Banks can only lend out a defined percentage of the cash they hold. Therefore, to grow their businesses, investment banks need to keep attracting large cash deposits from larger investors for longer terms. These cash deposits typically come from the largest of investors who have been loaning money to banks since they were invented. To make this attractive, banks pay above average returns and build in levels of income and capital protection for these specialized structured loans. 
through Cashbox Global Technology and Relationships. At last, you and I can get access to the best protected income generating assets from $10,000 or more. So in a nutshell, who are the parties that make up the Cashbox magic? Firstly, there is an investor. This could be you. And of course, you have your trusted advisor, financial planner, tax consultant, or coach that looks out for you. Any investor should have an online investor platform to hold and report on your investment assets. Then there is us, Cashbox Global. We introduce you to the deal that our partner, IDAD, has structured with the last role player, the investment bank that wants our group of investors to contract with them. And as a collective, we channel you to predictable, protected growth and income streams. Sound complicated? Not at all. This is how it works. One, visit Cashbox Global for our range of products and further learnings. Two, to access these investments, you require an online investor platform. Should you need a platform, there is a list of popular options on our website. Three, once you choose your investment, we supply you with the ISIN number and a defined closing date for your subscription. 4. Now you are ready to instruct your investor platform to invest in the ISIN. 5. Then you can sit back and wait for your predictable income streams. Enjoy your returns and reinvest what you can. Cashbox Global will keep you updated throughout the process because your peace of mind is our business. Now that you know what's in the box, be poised for new opportunities, partner with Cashbox Global, and fly. Great stuff. Thanks, Jill. So folks, let's start to unpack how this thing works and why it works. And at any stage now, if you'd like to ask questions, please put it in the chat or fire a question away. Um, let's make it interactive um, if you'd like. So now let's have a look again. The bank needs to attract large sums of money to grow their balance sheet and to improve their profitability. The investor wants the bank to pay an above average return for util utilizing our money now. And the contract that's going to govern this is called the structured note. And this is going to define deep levels of income and capital protection. We'll run through graphs just now to explain how that works. And they're also going to detail the scheduled payments. Now, both parties are wanting a return as soon as possible. So we're going to get paid in an income uh, note three months from the start of the product, which is brilliant. And at some point in time, the product's going to close out. At that point of close out is when the bank's going to make their money. But both of us, the investor and the bank, would like to do this as soon as possible. Let's see how we're gonna do this. So how it's gonna work, the bank's gonna identify three to four stocks that they believe have strong balance sheets, good management, and are highly likely to continue trading exactly as they are, or some slight growth. They're gonna utilize our deposits that we're gonna give the bank in order to buy options on those three or four stocks that they've selected. And we always do a rationale to understand why we've selected those particular stocks. The bank then is going to issue this contract. It's going to define all the returns and terms and conditions around this. And at maturity, the investor is going to receive their final payment um, of their full capital back to that trading platform we spoke about. And the bank's going to exercise their options. They're going to sell these underlying stocks to generate a profit. And the profit they have to generate is uh, for themselves, obviously, but enough to cover the contracted returns that they've guaranteed and, and unwritten to pay us, um, provided all these terms and conditions are met. So very simple, yet very effective um, structure. So now, how would we work and how does this regulated environment work? So we as Cashbox, together with IDAD, would sit and would have a look at the market present conditions. Aha, we'll gladly chat on the platform in a minute. Um, we, we would look at the current market, have a, a look and look at ideally three to four stocks that we believe are ideally poised for the coming year, for the foreseeable future, um, that this contract would be raised on. 
Cashbox is regulated in Mauritius and IDAD is probably one of Europe's strongest structures. They're based in the UK and governed under their authorities. Together, we use the modeling software to go back now and have a look at the bank. So the bank actually gives this particular software to these regulated um, environments in order to start to shape products. Once we're comfortable with a product that we like, we then take it to the bank. In fact, we take it to about 12 banks and let them have a look. We see who wants to go for it. They may do some adjustments because it's the bank that's going to underwrite and issue this. They go, yes, great. We will gladly do this. You need to bring us $500,000 or more. And um, we're then happy then to structure this particular contract. Now, the only way an investor could get to this um, uh, investment house is through an investment platform. And this is a highly regulated platform, so they're going to do a KYC on the investor. Now, if you watch those arrows, funds only flow from the investor to their trading platform of their choice, and you can choose some, a, a few of those. There's several to, to look at. And then you instruct your platform then to go into a particular share, and one of those shares that we're chatting about now is a structured note, and it has a reference number, an ISIN number. We help you um, map out what that looks like, and we issue the instruction from your platform, or to your platform, sorry. Your platform places the trade on your behalf with the bank. The funds flow from the platform to the bank. The coupons flow back again from the bank to your platform on a defined date. It will be in the contract. And only you, as the investor, can then draw your cash off the platform if you wish, or reinvest into something else that's of interest. So you managing your funds flow. This is highly regulated, each of these particular parties, because this is exactly how high net worths, family office, et cetera, would want to trade. And very important that this trading platform is fee light. Very important one to look at. On the right-hand side is your advisor, your right-hand man or right-hand lady. Uh, we love chatting to advisors because they've been looking for these types of products to fulfill a particular role in a portfolio where we're looking for something that's a lot more defined, a lot more predictable, A, in income and or growth. And we would love to chat to your advisor, particularly if they're looking to um, assist you and or others in the environment, no problem. But do you see what we've done? We've suggested here, and in our structure anyway, the advisor sits off on the side, a great, um, a great resource for everybody that you would probably want to pay per hour um, for the expertise, but should never get between you and the investment or take a slice of your investment. So when you see a contract now, that's exactly the return that's going to come directly from the bank to your platform. Nobody, no middlemen, nobody taking your fees. So then you may ask, well, then how does Cashbox make money? The bank pays us a raising fee for bringing and aggregating these funds to their platform. They're looking to generate this. So consider us a marketing arm of, of the bank. So we get, we get a sum that's contracted into the contract. It does not come out of investors' capital. So if, for example, you put 10, 20, 100 into a particular product, that's exactly what goes to the investment bank and that's the returns you're gonna get exactly on that number. Um, Well-regulated, your platform you can see 24 seven and Lorraine will go a little deep into the platforms in a minute. Thanks, Jill. All right, so now let's chat about the terminology the banks like to use and the terminology that we're gonna see in a uh, fact sheet. By the time we finish today, you'll be able to read a fact sheet, you'll understand all the terms, you'll understand what it means. If we haven't explained it well enough, please shout, um, we'll gladly go through it again. So the product's going to be broken up into quarters. So as you can see from the, the top line, we're going to look at quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. For however many quarters the bank's going to structure the maximum term of the product for. So in this case, our example shows 20 possible quarters. What we're going to do is the blue line, the strike value of the stocks, the 100%. If, for example, we've got one stock in the share basket, let's use Coca-Cola as an example. Let's say Coca-Cola was valued at $100. We, for the life of the product, are going to keep measuring from the date the product started. And the start date is also called the strike date. And they're going to measure the strike value. 
that share we're going to measure over the duration of the product. It can go up by 10%, 20%, 30%, whatever it may do. It can also drop down 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. Now we're going to get to the 50 mark. In this particular example, we've got a, a level of insurance, if you like, built in called an income trigger. Folks, can you believe it? Even if the product starts running and our stocks start to drop in value for whatever reason, the income trigger is there and it says that as long as the shares are at 50% or greater of their start price at each quarter, we are in the money. It's going to pay us a coupon. So where in the world could you invest in a share that could be 10, 20, 30, 40% down and still you get a quarterly flow of income? Brilliant. So we keep moving along, quarter one, two, three, four, carries on. Then we hit what's called an auto crawl level. And what does this mean? The bank set a automatic trigger that would call the product back. It will auto call it once all the shares in this case are at or above 100%. So that dotted line is suggesting to us it's available from quarter four. At quarter four, if the stocks are all above their start value, so they've just cruised along for a year, risen slightly, one, two, three percent. The bank will say, okay, great, it's time for us now to exercise our options. We're going to turn those stocks, we, we potentially are going to switch those options into real stocks, and we're going to go and sell those stocks for profit. That profit would have helped them pay us the defined quarterly income and return our capital. The bank's going to make a profit at the end. We're going to go through an example now to show you how that works. So in summary, we have quarters, we have a start value of the stock, we have an income trigger level, and we've also got an auto call level. There are two other levels of, in, of um, protection that are built in, and we'll build into that, we'll get into that detail. So the highlight here, the income, if it's an income coupon, will pay out even if the worst performing share halves in value. Crazy, eh? Thanks, Joel. So let's have a look at this protection at work. Why would pension funds love this? Why would anybody looking for predictable income love this? Um, why would institutions want to go after it? And it's for exactly this reason we're going to show. So in February 2020, we structured a product. And in that product had advanced micro devices, NVIDIA, Apple, and Twitter. The bank has taken options on these. We never own these stocks. This is just a reference basket. The bank's taken these options. Now, we're going to follow Twitter because here comes March of 2020. We all remember the market crash. Twitter was the stock in this basket that was affected the most. So let's follow it. At the strike date, when the product went live, Twitter was valued at $36.80. That's what you could buy the actual share for on that date. On the right-hand side of that, we've got our 50% income protection barrier. So we set that. As long as Twitter or any of the other shares um, or above 50% of this dot price will pay out. So Twitter could drop all the way to $18.40 and we still get paid. So along comes March and these were the worst um, periods. These were the biggest drops. Twitter in this case had dropped 40%. Its share value was only $22.10. But we didn't worry because even at 40%, we were still 10% away from our 50% degradation level. Now, we started the 7th of February. Three months later, the observation was set at the 29th of May. In the basket now, Twitter is down at minus 17. If I go up the column, Apple is down, call it minus 2, and AMD minus 5. So again, here are three stocks in the basket. They've all lost value, yet our coupon pays out. Why? Because we, we're nowhere near that 50% level. We'll show you a graph just now to explain it. So the product ran for the year, and by quarter four, one year later, the 8th of February 21, <laughs> Twitter had grown by 38% from its start price of our product. It was now sitting at $51. We're going to explain now how the bank's going to make money, but I think you're going to see it already. So even through the market crash, while we had eight products running, every product paid out exactly as designed. So let's look at this graphically because it may, may show it a little better. So here's Twitter, because remember, we, we, we're concerned about the worst performing of the, of the basket, should there be one. 
So we had a strike value. Uh, by uh, May, we had dropped by minus 18%. Can you see the gap between, call it the 80% and the 50%? That's a big load of insurance, if you like, that's keeping us safe, right? We're nowhere near the capital protection barrier that we uh, that, that would allow the, the coupon to trigger. So in this case, the 3.3% in this particular product paid out to our platform on the defined date. Quarter two comes along and the stock's actually risen above its start price. Quarter three, it's grown some more. And in both of those, clearly we're well above 50%. So it would pay. Along comes quarter four. And look at this. Our stock has actually grown well above our start price. And we are now at that quarter call level. The bank says, great. Now I've got in my basket four shares that are grown in value. We're going to call the product back. We're going to pay to everybody's platform the last coupon, plus I'm going to send all your capital back. We love an auto call. I'll get into that in a minute. At this stage, the bank's going to make their money, have everything settled, the product would close, and your funds back on your platform. So now let's have a look at how the bank makes money, right? Let's follow Twitter again. Using our money, the bank bought options on these shares. They didn't own the share directly, but by one year later, Twitter grown by 38%. And if we go up, Apple 77, NVIDIA 80, and advanced 56. The banks can exercise their options. They're potentially going to go and sell these stocks into their, um, into their investment bank and into different portfolios. And they, even at a discount now, they could sell these in and look at the money they've made. They've made the 38, the 70, the, et cetera. And this is how the bank is comfortable to pay an investor a strong and predictable return through the life of the product till it gets to a point where the bank can actually profit. So the bank's paying us out of their kitty until the time that the product closes. So everybody loves an auto call, right? Thanks, Jill. So now let's have a look over the last uh, five years, just to give you the volume of what's happening here. I'd add the house that structures for us produce on average around 200 structured notes a year. So it's not, and they've been doing this for years. This is how big this market is, right? 100% of those products have all delivered exactly the returns that were defined in the contracts. In the income category, they were paying out, call that 13% on average across the year. Now, of course, because of this flex of our auto call level, um, we would have an average duration to auto call. That average duration for IDAD sits at just under three years. But if you come across now to cash box side, we're drawing off roughly 10% of their products now, 100% are acting as they should. But because we're very, very particular and because we're not in the retail space, we're able to get slightly higher margin and there's nobody taking margin between us, we're getting very close to an average of around 15%. Um, depending on what the market is doing. But look at this, which is very interesting. Our average duration to auto call is reduced to one and a half years. And folks, why do we love this? It's because we've got the opportunity to get our capital back, reassess the market, and then go into new notes that are particular and, and looking at the current future. So for example, uh, you may have seen, we launched a defensive um, product just last week based on banks and based on banks that we believe are going to grow in the current economy and would be well protected um, you know, and, and, and resilient even to do with and considering what's happening in Europe now in Russia and, and Ukraine, sadly. Thanks, Joel. So folks, let's have a look at a fact sheet now. A fact sheet's going to arrive and this is the contract the bank issues. And this is what is now contracted. It's in, it's cast in stone. Once this is all set, there are no deviations. This is exactly how the contract would run. So in this case, the issuing bank is BBVA Bank. And what you'll notice below this are the credit ratings. We would only ever deal with the strongest investment banks in Europe. And they would all have Fitch and Moody's A rating, et cetera, as a minimum. We also then go back and have a look who's managing the banks, what do their balance sheets looks like, look like, what are the exposures, 
um, for example, right now, are there any explosions um, in Russia? And what might that mean? Or do these banks come out of our consideration for now, for example? Um, one below is the maximum term. So in this case, it's set at four years. Now remember, it's maximum because what we're going to have just below this is an investment structure. And in that, you're going to see memory. I'm going to take us through that just now. That's another level of protection, income and auto call. So we know how this thing is structured. It's designed to auto call and it can auto call after the first observation of 12 months. So only after 12 months and quarterly thereafter could the product potentially close out. The auto call trigger level is set at 100%. So those stocks can just keep cruising, don't have to grow, don't have to do much at all just need to tick up by one, 2% and we're there. The next one down shows us the memory income rate. And this is the, this particular product is only paying in USD. Sometimes we get a USD and a GVP or a Euro in one note. Each would have its own ISIN and you can go into the currency that you like as well. Great way to currency diversify as well. In this case, it's defined in the contract to an half percent a quarter, giving us the 10% per annum. The reason it's bracketed is, you know, will it last one year? Would go, does it go does it go longer? But whichever, it's going to pay out the two and a half per quarter. If we go down now, here's the income trigger. In our graphical representation of it earlier, that income trigger was set at fifty percent. Do you see that these can float? And we're always looking for this level. In this case, it's sixty percent. Why are we comfortable that we could lose forty percent? is because we're now looking at banks. They're not individual trading companies. They are big behemoth businesses. The, the chance of these dropping by that number is next to impossible. We'd be in, the world would be in a world of pain if, if, if that was the case. So again, we're comfortable at this level. If we drop down now, we're going to see the second level or the third level of protection I want to chat through off the graph, and that's the capital protection barrier. This is set at 60%. So um, through the life of the product, our capital is underwritten by the bank. The bank owes us this. The, par the barrier, I'm going to explain off a graph in a minute. The underlying basket, these are the four stocks that the bank's chosen. The bank has chosen bank stocks. And we got into this because we believe in an inflationary uh, environment. The banks are well set and poised to look after and still return a strong return. So even in a defensive product, there's a 10% opportunity. On the right-hand side, we're going to see key information. We have a subscription period, and the bank says to us, okay, we're happy to start to draw in funds from the 14th of February in this case to the uh, 9th, 10th of March. We will close the 10th of March. So we always encourage our, our community, please give it, don't go beyond like the 8th of March. Um, and that's funds on your platform because you don't want to miss it um, if there's some, some sort of hiccup somewhere along the line. Um, the strike date in this case is the 11th of March. So what we'll do is we'll measure uh, Banco Santander. We'll measure, measure Commerce Bank exactly on, on the 11th of March when this goes live because those are the measurements we're going to measure against, as we all know. And off the product goes. The next sheet, this is the exciting sheet, and this is why we love structured notes is it's defined exactly which day the next observation is going to be. In this case, the 13th of June. And the payment date roughly one week later, the 20th of June is the payment to your platform. The funds would clear on your platform and then show in your trading accounts on your platform roughly two working days thereafter. So I can almost diarize exactly when my funds are gonna flow provided the column next to it happens that all my stocks are above at or above the income trigger 60 percent and more of their stock price the funds will always flow the coupons will flow the one next to that again is our auto call trigger it can't auto call in the first observation second observation third observation but it is available from quarter four so from quarter four if all the shares are at 100 percent or more the product would auto call. And that's the, the case all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to chat about the very final observation through one of our graphs just now. Thanks, John. Okay, 
So folks, let's have a look at a fictitious market cycle. Let's have a look at all the eventualities that the, the, um, the contract's going to have a look at so that you understand how this all works. Now, we've taken you from, from the beginning right the way through reading a fact sheet all the way now to understanding what all these terminologies mean. Um, and I'm excited because this takes you to a whole new world, a whole new asset class that I'm hoping you understand by the time we're done here. So let's have a look at our start value. We're starting at 100%. Um, and let's, let's say the stocks start to rise as the product gets going. Quarter one happens and our stocks have risen. And look at that, there's 3% trigger built in, sorry, 3% coupon built in. We're well above the income trigger set in our example of 50%. The funds flow to our platform. Now, quarter two comes around, and this is starting to look like March of 20 again. And let's say we've the worst performing share in our basket has now dropped, let's say, 15%. While we're well above the 50%, the coupon will pay, right? So quarter two's coupon pays out uh, to our platform. You may then say, okay, well, what happens if we breach that 50%? And this is that memory feature that I was chatting about, and that's going to kick in. What the memory feature does is it says, okay, let's say one share in the unlikely event breaches the 50%, that coupon's not paid out. Can you see it's put on hold? And now that it's on hold, we're waiting for the shares to rise. And as soon as the shares rise above our um, income trigger level at the subsequent quarter, that could be quarter four, five, six, but it doesn't matter. As soon as we get over our income trigger level, that quarter's coupon is going to pay out. And then look at this. It looks back now and it fetches any missed coupon and pays me out. So it's highly, highly likely that you're going to get full coupon flow through the course of that year. Um, and this, again, is exactly why pension funds, provident funds, trusts, anybody looking for predictable and defined flow would love a product like this. So that's the memory feature that we've added in. Now what will happen, the product will run, and let's say sometime in the future at quarter X, it could be six, quarter six or seven, or whatever it may be, once all the shares above the order call level, and in this case, again, it was set at 100%, bang, my last coupon pays out, and all my capital to my platform. Um, and the capital gets paid out exactly on the same date as your schedule. So we know exactly what's going to happen. And what we do in our community, should you come into a product, we'll always inform you when a coupon flow is due. And we'll also always let you know, hey, great, an auto calls happened. While we can never see your platform, it's, it's yours, it's like a bank account. We know what's happening with the product and we know who's gone into the product. So we'll always communicate. You'll always understand exactly where we are. The very, aha. Uh -huh. Thanks, Jill. So you may ask then, all right, so now what happens if we don't auto call? But I do need to tell you that every single one of the products that we've run for the last uh, five years have all auto called before full maturity. We want this because this is the stage where the bank's going to make money and we make money. But now the contract also then defines what happens if one share misbehaves. Let's say one share for the life of the product just cruises under its start price. And in this case, it closes out at, I don't know, 90%. 90%. We've got another level of protection built in. And it's called the capital protection barrier. Jill, if you can go back up one slide, please. Um, I didn't put it in this one, unfortunately. On the bottom right of our graph, can you see this red dot, uh, dotted line? This is the income trigger level, but the red represents the capital protection barrier. Thanks, Jill, if you can drop down one. I need to correct the slides. That income trigger also then ends in a capital protection barrier. As long as, folks, the, the, the lowest share has not gone below the capital protection barrier, let's say it's 50%, I get my full capital out. So we've got protection on income, even if the stocks halve. We've got protection on our capital, full capital back, even if one of those stocks um, halves in value in this particular example. So has this happened? No, 
if, if that income and that capital protection barrier was ever tested, we understand exactly what's going to happen. So all these massive levels of protection built in. Let's have a look at the worst case scenario and the protection that's built in here. Go up one slide, please. Okay, let's say there's one stock in this basket and it completely bombs out. And by the end of, in this case, quarter 20, let's say the stock's worth 45%. And we've then breached our capital protection barrier as well. The final level of protection that we get is we would get capital back as if we were in the market directly. So let's say the worst performing share was at 45%. We would get our, uh, the only capital we would get out, sorry, the capital we would get out would be 45% as if we were in the market directly. So we won't lose all our capital. We'll only get out what that share is worth, the worst performing share is worth. Has this happened? It has not happened to us. Um, is this designed? Is this what the bank would want? No, they would lose as well. Is this what the investors want? No. That's why we do such due diligence on the stocks that go into the basket as well. So the stocks will go and go a stringent um, selection process, and all products then have auto called, actually never ever testing the need for the capital protection barrier. But to give you comfort that that barrier exists and it's there to protect us as well. You see all these layers of protection built in. Brilliant product, brilliant asset. So now let's change the focus a little bit. We've always been speaking, or up until now, we've been speaking about these income flows. The bank can also structure a structured note based on growth. And this is slightly different. In this case, we've also got 20 quarters and we measure as we pass each quarter, but the bank, instead of paying out cash says, okay, We'll, we'll aggregate these sums, and when the product auto calls, we'll pay out a full lump sum and your capital. So typically, the bank's actually more inclined to pay out more growth coupons per quarter than income because they, they don't have to pay it out. They'll pay it out of proceeds once they've made their money on the close of the product. So in this case, let's say the auto call level was available from the second quarter already. We are waiting for all shares to be above the auto call level. And in this case, the bank has actually dropped it. They've made it even easier to auto call. They've said, okay, let's set it at 95%. So even if the stocks lost up to 5% in value, the product would still auto call. So here we're waiting for an auto call and then the product would pay out full. Um, folks like these because these generate uh, potentially a capital gain where income would typically trigger a income gap or income tax event. So in terms of the stats now, over the past five years, over 245 of these growth products have been structured. 91 of these are still active, 150 all auto called as expected. But just as a guide, the average duration to auto call has been three and a half years because people typically would like to go into growth with a longer term play and income in a much shorter term play. Now we've got the option in structuring notes for income or growth or even a combination. So just recently we've done several that would offer a quarterly flow plus a growth in parallel that once the product closes I now get a growth lump sum as well, almost like a bonus if you like. So if we were to look at a portfolio and maybe this is, is something you might want to consider. Um, and back Lorraine to your question, if I had a, if I had a um, trading platform um, and we, we go into a tax neutral jurisdiction, perhaps like the Isle of Man, and on this, I could then place any asset as long as it has my ISIN number. So on my trading platform, I could start to create a portfolio of structured notes. We quite like this because I can get different uh, different underlines, different baskets. I could get different banks. I can get different uh, paying payment dates, et cetera. So I could build up a portfolio. Um, some defensive st um, structured notes, maybe some that are a bit more fizzy. And we also have a, a growth fund of structured notes. Also on this platform, I can place, would I have cash, which would be in the bottom left corner there. Um, and in that, I would have my trading account. So I could have a trading account. It could hold dollars, pounds, euro, yen, 
um, so many different currencies if I wanted. And from there, I can invest in different assets. So as I said, you could have structured notes in dollars, pounds, or euros. I could put those all in one platform. I could have bonds. I could have stocks. I could go into direct stocks, top right-hand corner. Maybe I wanted to take a, a punt on, on Nestle or Coca-Cola again or Tesla, for example. These are all available because these guys are uh, brokers. As long as I use the reference number for that asset, you off you go. So I can build a, an entire portfolio, which is really cool. Thanks, Jill. Do you want to take this one? Me yeah, unmute. <laughs> <laughs> So before we carry on, um, are there any questions? Lorena, we answered your question on your the trading platform. What did you have a specific question around the trading platform? Lorena. <laughs> That's okay, Lorena, I'll come back. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we didn't answer, or no, you don't have any questions. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> Does anyone else do this um, in terms of the trading platform? Oh, uh, Jay, um, in terms of in terms of the trading platform, does someone else do it, or does other people do other people do structured notes? Um, do other people do structured notes? Like, is anyone else anywhere else in the globe offer offer anything similar, or call it a different name? I'm, I'm just curious. Yes, yes they do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Jay, they're all, they're all very popular in the investing world um, because, because of that permanent we saw of, of banking. Um, you'd find a lot of retail banks would be reluctant to sell these because it could start to cannibalize business. Um, you're based in America, am I right? Yeah. So there are structured notes that come directly out of America. Um, the, the notes that we're involved with uh, are not available, unfortunately, to US citizens. Um, what we've been asked to do is see if IDAT could create stuff um, for us in America. Uh, we are working on that. You would be able to find stuff um, in the States. It is very big. Uh, who would exactly structure these? I could find out for you and get you some options. Um, it's a great class, and yeah, we're desperate to help our American colleagues and friends. But also in terms of the structured notes that are available, just just yes. generally. Yes. So there are, there are really... I beg okay. your pardon. There are several structures around the um, the world. Um, IDA just happens to be probably one of the best in the UK, and a deep relationship with Andrew. So we're very comfortable to to work with these guys. But yes, there are several people that would structure notes. And then just in terms of the differentiator from a cash box global perspective, in order to put one of these notes together, the minimum investment ranges from 250,000 to 500,000 upwards to structure one. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to democratize it where we can give access to people for $10,000 or pounds upwards, but they still get the exact same level of protection and return as if somebody designed this themselves and put in half a million dollars. So yep. that, is, that is the differentiator, but there are retail notes available. Um, often with the retail notes, the returns are lower and the protection is lower because there's a lot more mouths to feed in the chain because from a, the institution down to the retail level, there are quite a few, uh, quite a few layers. Yeah. So Jay, these, these products are available to the entire globe outside of um, America, sadly. So we've got people, the Japanese people that are interested, they can come in. We've got our Euro, um, Australasian community, et cetera. So no, we can accommodate a lot of people and I'd love to maybe chat to you offline to see what we could do together to maybe assist your community, um, you know, as we are with Mark and others. Uh, Ronald, did you have a question? Uh, yes, I seem to be unable to type. <laughs> it's the washing machine. It's the washing machine. The washing machine's off. We're sorted. Um, <laughs> uh, being this is like my very first exposure to this. So, it, uh, firstly, it's very 
very interesting because I'm you know, sitting with money doing nothing in bank accounts. But um, yeah. from a, a, a tax point of view, this is, let's just say, if we could just use a simple example. Um, sure. uh, I've got money sitting offshore in an F&B account, uh, uh -huh. F&B offshore account, yeah. example. Um, and I want to put in, uh, what was the minimum US dollars? So per product, it's 10,000. Ten thousand dollars, pounds, or euro. Um, Got you. Cool. Yep. So I transfer that money from there, in a practical example, to a, another investment platform, which you guys recommend a bunch that you work with. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. okay. And then that, obviously, on that platform, I then buy the the structured note, which I take uh, part in when becoming part of your community you, you know, joel or whoever would send it out and say guys here's a new one um yeah. exercise the options is that correct correct yes so joel would you mind going back to our regulated environment ronald these are great questions so ronald um the trading platform if you like is an online stock brokerage that is regulated and authorized to buy any um regulated stock around the world so what we do is there are trading platforms like Capital International Group, um, Credo, Velocity Trade, there's several. I use NetBank. Um, there is a bunch of platforms in regulated jurisdictions that are really very convenient. So the one that's probably the most um, popular with the community is one called Ramsey Crookall. They're based on the Isle of Man. There's representation in South Africa, um, I take it you, you're here as well. And yeah. you're able to chat and, um, and get yourself set up really easily. You can open up a platform as an individual in the name of an individual or joint account or company or trust. So very flexible. You can set your jurisdiction that you may need to report your tax on and the currency. So let's say you on this platform, you had a, a multiple um, currency diversification and different assets, et cetera. It would all, it would um, using the exchange rate of the day would help generate your tax reporting, et cetera, back in the currency that you want. Because it's a tax neutral jurisdiction, there's no withholding tax, et cetera. So it's really efficient. Um, so what you get the ability to do, Ronald, is almost upgrade your bank. So let's say you had money sitting in pounds or dollars, um, you know, offshore, that's great. But this is a great way to sweat that and understand exactly what you're going to get back when by date. Great. Thank you very much. Then also, just in terms of the various platforms, um, to look at the minimum requirements, because some of them have minimum requirements. One of the reasons why our community like Ramsey Crookall, besides their fees are actually middle of the road, they're not the top end or the bottom end and their service is really good, is that they don't actually have a minimum. So a number of platforms like CIG, for example, has a minimum of 50,000 pounds. Ramsey Crookall doesn't have a minimum. And then what they would do, Ronald, is they would charge a placement fee, let's say it's um, 15 pounds for trading for you. And then they charge, for example, 37 pounds per quarter for having the account. Now, um, those are fixed costs. So the more that you invest with these guys, the lower the relative cost becomes. But now let's say, and you'll see a product coming next week that's paying 17% per annum. If, if the note says it's paying 17% per annum, that's exactly what the bank play, pays your platform. There's there's no costs between. The only cost that you have is holding your money on that account. Um, that's the only fee that you would see um, in this in the structure. So it's not a percentage of, it's actually just a set fee. And um, what it'll do, there, there will be a percentage. So the 37 pounds I was chatting about is their minimum fee. So there is a percentage okay. with that as a minimum. So as you start to build more funds on it, your relative cost comes down. Um, yeah. So that yeah, so that 37 pounds covers about 100,000. So up to the, your first 100,000. That's the break uh, even. Uh, whatever, foreign currency. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. And again, mm. what I do, 
um, Jill will notify you as the funds were flowing back in um, when the product's about to auto call or it has auto called or there's a capital flow back. Um, you would then go to your platform, you can decide because now everything is transparent what you'd like to do. You, as in this example, you could draw back the cash, maybe that's your strategy, or maybe you want to reinvest in, in another opportunity. Um, so it's brilliant. You can you put your whole share investments in tax neutral fee light environment. Very clever. I love the word tax neutral. I know it's two words, but I'm making it one word for the day. <laughs> your favorite new word. Doesn't mean you don't pay tax. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Double tax. Uh, the, guys, yeah, the guys back home are looking forward to your investment doing very well. Let, let's move on swiftly from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other questions? So just to go back, when we started, we had a number of questions that you should consider when you're going into investments. And you can see through this process, that structured notes pretty much ticks all of the boxes. So from a comparison where you invest it directly into the market, you're exposed to the risk, whatever it happens to be on that particular day. Structured notes provide the protection, the predictability, it's defined, it's a contract, it's not, it's inflexible from a perspective of, it's not, you're not gonna get anything less than what's stated and you've got protection because you're dealing with the largest banks um, in Europe. So yeah, any more questions before we close out? And then folks. Um, yes, sorry. Yeah. You first? Um, so taking a, like the most negative view that I could possibly take, because it's my, my kid's inheritance, let's say that. Um, if I if I said to you, can you give me uh, three people uh, that that use your services that I might know from the Smutby group, I might know in business communities, I might know whatever. Are you guys able to do that? I mean, it's a great presentation. You all look fantastic, uh, but you know, but there's there's multiple stories. It could be the Twitter swindler of of investments, and I'm not saying you are, but <laughs> I think from a if I'm going to put fifty thousand uh, dollars into these things over the next couple of uh, months, years, that, you know, it's not, it's, it's something I want to make 100% sure of. How do you normally just, you know, settle those nervous, nervous clients? So because of Poppy, obviously we can't hand out our client, our investors details, but what we can do is find out from them if they would be happy to chat with you. Um, we've got a number of investors that have invested in multiple, multiple notes, um, including from the Smutby group. But again, you know, I'm not so sure if they would be happy for everyone to know, you know, what they do from an investment perspective. But I definitely, we definitely will have clients that will be happy to chat with you. Um, and off the top of your head, how many active uh, investors uh, or clients do you guys have at the moment? So there are 270 odd uh, doing all the following. Jill, could you drop to the bottom um, slide, please? Uh, so Ronald, we've got investors from probably 10 different countries already. Um, certainly all outside of the States. Um, and it goes England, everywhere in Southern Africa. We'd, we'd, we'd gladly chat to a couple of people. They'll, they'll, they'll definitely chat with you. And then if you would like, on our website, um, you'll see our active products. And our active products um, are all those that are running. And then below those are the ones that have closed out. On the active product, you'll see that there's an ISIN number. That ISIN number, you can track and trace for Bloomberg. So every one of our products are completely uh, trackable and traceable. So you'd understand exactly where we are. Um, We'll put you in touch with some good people. Uh, no problem. And I think it's a lovely question. I'm glad you're thorough. So these are all the products that are currently running. So if we picked one, for example, Jules, just to click on it. Which one do you want? No, it doesn't matter. And do you see there's this ISIN number in the middle of the screen? that XS number. Ronald? 
Yes. Okay. So that number, that number, this bank has issued, BBVA banks. This is all trackable, traceable. We can see exactly how this product has performed. So you can back test all the stuff that we've done, no problem. Um, but what we would love to do is get you in touch with two or three or four um, investors already that are happy to chat. And let's let's do that. So if you scroll down, you'll see the fact sheets here. If you would mind clicking on that, John. It's not working. It's oh, probably no. because it's, it's probably because it's a running it's a running it's an active product. Yeah. So if you go into available. So Ronald, no problem. Let's we'll reach out to a couple of people for you. No problem. So this is the one that we we um, launching. We launched this to our Australian community last week, um, and we're going to be doing this webinar on Tuesday, is it, Jill? Yeah. And yeah. Ronald, what, what what we do when we do a product presentation, we chat just about the product, not not the background stuff that we've gone through on how it works. In here lives a rationale on why we've chosen those stocks. So everything is here for you, you to get comfort um, in the product and why the selections. And then the contract that you see is what your custodial platform, it's another term for a platform, they would, they would hold that contract on your behalf directly from the bank. So let's say Cashbox um, disappeared. The contract can't disappear. That is, it's issued off the bank's balance sheet. That's that's valid for the life of the of the product. Um, and the trading platform, for example, like a Ramsey, they've been stockbrokers for seventy five years on the London stock stock exchange. Um, obviously, operating out of Isle of Man and everything digital. So they've got their own long track record as well, as would most other investment. Um, platforms you can do your due diligence with them as well cool. great any any other questions you're all good um so we are on linkedin and on facebook if you would like to follow us there and then what we'll do we'll i'll send out invitations um and i see lorraine asked about the recording Happy to send the recording through to you as well. On our, on our website, if you go into the Knowledge Center, there's actually a 26-minute video of this presentation um, that you can refer back to, but this, this recording will come through to you as well. And then, Ronald, maybe if you'd like to have a look at LinkedIn and Facebook, you can roll back into the history of what we've done and how Joel communicates uh, what we're up to. Um, it's a great place to learn. There's no spamming in that. Um, it's a great community. Product's done really well for everybody. And we'd love to have you involved, Ronald.